let me tell you the story of the Battle of the Metaurus River, which took place in northern Italy in 207 BCE during the Second Punic War. This battle was crucial because it prevented Carthaginian reinforcements from reaching Hannibal Barca, the famous Carthaginian general, in the south. The Second Punic War began when Hannibal led his Carthaginian forces against Saguntum in Spain. The leaders of Saguntum sought help from Rome, which led to a long and destructive conflict. Hannibal, known for his brilliant military tactics, crossed the Pyrenees, pushed through southern Gaul, and famously crossed the Alps to invade Italy. For the next 16 years, he campaigned throughout Italy, defeating every Roman army sent against him. However, despite his victories, he struggled to secure a decisive victory over Rome. Hannibal realized that he needed reinforcements to defeat Rome. He called on his brother Hasdrubal, who was in Spain, to join him. Carthage managed to send supplies to Hannibal through Spain, even though the Roman galleys controlled much of the Mediterranean. To cut off Carthaginian supply lines, Rome sent troops under Publius Cornelius Scipio to Spain. Scipio successfully regained territory and engaged Hasdrubal in a battle near Baecula, by land, in 208. Although the battle was a tactical victory for Scipio, Hasdrubal managed to withdraw, keeping his focus on reinforcing Hannibal. In 207, Hasdrubal made his move. He crossed the Pyrenees with around 10,000 men and spent the winter in southern Gaul gathering reinforcements. In April, he crossed the Alps via the Sini Pass into northern Italy. Although the exact size of his force is unknown, it was far smaller than the 15 Roman legions, totaling perhaps 150,000 men, that stood between the Barca brothers. Hasdrubal initiated a siege of Placentia to appease the Gauls and his army, but it failed. He then proceeded south to Phanum Fortunae, Fano, on the Adriatic Sea, where he encountered Roman forces under consul Livius Salinator. Hannibal, upon learning of his brother's situation, moved slowly north to join him. However, his movements were closely watched by Consul Keys Claudius Nero and his army of four legions. Unaware of the impending threat, Hannibal established camp at Canusium, Canora, while Nero positioned his army between the two Carthaginian forces. Fortunately for the Romans, they captured two Carthaginian couriers who were heading south. Through them, they learned of Hasdrubal's plan to link up with Hannibal in Umbria. Realizing the opportunity, Nero left the force to keep an eye on Hannibal and marched north with his best troops, approximately 6,000 infantry and 1,000 cavalry, to join Livius. Moving swiftly and gaining support from the towns along the way, Nero reached Phantom Fortunae in about a week and secretly joined Livius under the cover of darkness. Nero convinced Livius that they should attack Hasdrubal before he learned about the arrival of the Roman reinforcements. Both armies prepared for battle when Hasdrubal sensed an increase in Roman numbers and decided to withdraw along the Via Flaminia. Hasdrubal's local guides may have deserted him during this challenging night movement, causing delays. Nero caught up with the Carthaginians near the Metaurus River. Hasdrubal quickly arranged his forces for battle. He placed his Gauls on the left flank behind a deep ravine, while his Ligurian troops held the center, protected by 10 to 15 war elephants at the front. His Spanish troops occupied the right flank. The Roman army was also divided into three groups. Nero commanded the Roman right, facing the Gauls. However, due to their separation, the Roman groups couldn't provide mutual support. The Romans likely had around 40,000 men, while the Carthaginians had significantly fewer soldiers. As the battle began, the Spanish troops launched an attack on the Roman left flank. On the northern side of the battlefield, Nero realized that the ravine prevented him from engaging Hasdrubal directly. In a daring move, Nero left a small portion of his forces to hold the Carthaginians in place and led the majority of his troops southward, behind the Roman lines. From there, he turned and attacked the rear of the Spanish troops. Caught between the Roman pincer, Hasdrubal's men couldn't withstand the assault. Sensing defeat, Hasdrubal charged directly at the Romans, choosing to fight to the death. This led to his own demise, and the majority of his army was destroyed. The Carthaginian casualties were estimated to be around 10,000, while the Romans lost only 2,000 soldiers. Additionally, six war elephants were killed, and the remaining elephants were captured by the Romans. Nero wasted no time and swiftly retraced his steps, returning to the starting point in just six days. The news of this victory, the first major defeat the Carthaginians had suffered in Italy, brought great joy to Rome. The Senate declared three days of public thanksgiving to celebrate the triumph. According to legend, Hannibal learned about the battle when a Roman horseman approached the Carthaginian camp and threw a sack at their lines. The sack was discovered to contain the severed head of Hasdrubal. Upon hearing of the defeat, Hannibal broke camp and moved his army south to the port of Bruchium. The Carthaginian defeat at the Metaurus River dealt a severe blow to Hannibal's hopes of conquering Rome. Although his remaining brother Mago landed near Genoa in 205 with additional troops, he made little effort to join forces with Hannibal. Mago was wounded in battle and was ordered back to defend Carthage. However, he died from his wounds during the journey. 
Hannibal, undefeated in Italy, remained there for six more years after the Battle of the Metaurus River. However, his resources were dwindling, and he was eventually recalled to Carthage. Meanwhile, Scipio, the Roman general, achieved victory against all Carthaginian forces sent against him and secured control over Spain. This marked the beginning of Rome's dominance in Spain, which would last for the next 600 years.